Ramirez was a 25-year-old social worker from Brooklyn, and we reported this week that police think a robbery ring may have targeted him. He was last seen alive on April 21st, getting into a taxi with three men outside a gay club. Today, there was an effort to promote safe pride in Hell's Kitchen. We really encourage everyone to be aware of their surroundings, be aware of the risks. The city's Office of Nightlife issued safety warnings as Pride celebrations gear up, not long after the tragic death of social worker Julio Ramirez in the back of a taxi. Uh. PIX11 News has learned police suspect a robbery ring preyed on Ramirez, 25, outside the Ritz Bar, a popular gay club on West 46th Street, in the early hours of April 21st. Our sources tell us different rings seem to be targeting Hell's Kitchen. A phony cab driver may have been part of the team that picked up Ramirez, and the young social worker is the first victim to die. When I heard that it was a drug overdose, my instant thought was that somebody had drugged him. But the cause of death may not be known for months, as the medical examiner does extensive toxicology testing. Ramirez's older brother, Carlos, found about $20,000 had been removed from Julio's bank accounts and credit cards in the hours and days after his death. The owner of the spot encouraged everyone celebrating Pride Month to pay attention to the people they meet. I'm asking fellow bar owners to just make sure they're actually vigilant when they're checking people's bags and make sure that nothing's getting in that will actually ruin the party for others. City officials especially concerned about deadly fentanyl being cut into just about any kind of party drug, which is driving the fatal overdose rates locally and nationally. We're now losing one New Yorker every four hours. Community advocates even handing out bags containing fentanyl strips that can test a drug for the presence of the synthetic opioid. They're in every Narcan bag, and we encourage people to use them to test any type of recreational drugs. It's simple with a little bit of water and a little bit of the substance, you can tell whether or not it has fentanyl in it. A city council committee handed out flyers promoting safe sex and frequent testing for COVID. And the anti-violence project wants people who may be victimized to know the group has their backs. Today our hotline still runs 24 hours a day and seven days a week to support all survivors. And a central theme for Safe Pride was a focus on being a good bystander. Just watch out for one another. Make sure you're not leaving your drinks unattended. Make sure we take care of one another. And to get that message across, a vigil will be held tonight for Julio Ramirez, followed by a march to Times Square.